If you want to create mockups in batch, let's say for your e-commerce store, I got a great plugin for Photoshop and it's creating mockups from all your images at once. So you don't have to do everything one by one because if you got an e-commerce store and you got a lot of products, you wanna save some time by creating these mockups. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a super important tip to get the best possible quality for your images while keeping the file size small. And that's super important to make sure this works for you. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I using this mockup generator myself and because I enjoy it so much, I really wanted to make a video about it. I tried different mockup generators that were free and those were all trash. And this one is super good. So make sure to watch the video so you can see it for yourself. After you installed this mockup generator on your computer, go to Photoshop and inside plugins, you will find bulk mockup. Let's click on that one. And here we have the panel where we can set everything. Now there is two sections in this, the main and the settings. Let's first go to main. And here we have three areas. First, we need to select the PSD templates folder. Let me open up my folder here. I have a folder here with my mockups. And here you can see I have mockups for wall art. And all these files are PSD files. Let me open up one of this file so you can see this better. You can see this file consists of different layers. And the most important part to make this work is to have only one smart object. And that smart object is where your artwork will be. So let's say this is my mockup. I have one smart object. You can see it with this icon here. When I double click on this one, I can drag my design in this file. And when I save it, it's gonna apply on this mockup. So make sure you only have one smart object. If you have multiple smart objects in your file, make sure to rasterize the ones that are not for the artwork. So let's say if this would be a smart object like that, I would click on right mouse and I will rasterize this layer to make sure it's not a smart object anymore. Okay, now let's go back to the mockup generator here. Here we need to select the folder where our PSD templates are. So these are the templates for the mockups. So let's go to mockups. Here you can see I have eight PSD files for mockups. I will click on open. The next one is the folder where you have your designs. So I have a folder here. You can see I have four designs here, but this could be a lot more images. So if you have a lot of images, let's say hundreds of images, you could just select that folder with all these images. So let's click on open and it's gonna use those images to process it on these PSD mockups. Then we have the export folder and this is where we want to save our files. I have a folder named export here and this is where I want to export all my images. So basically we are all set here. Now here you can select the resize method and the resize method is the method this plugin is going to use to make your image fit the mockup, right? Because I'm pretty sure your images are not the same size as your mockup, at least not exactly the same pixel size. So it needs to resize those images to make it fit in the mockup. And that's the good thing about this plugin is it's going to resize your image to fit in your mockup. I'm using fill canvas crop and extra because for my mockups, this works best, but you could use another one which fits yours best. Now let's go to settings and here we can set the settings. Here you can select the scale design layer. If you want to scale your image, you can do that here. Here you can also set the alignment to canvas if you need that. I'm keeping mine in the center. Then we're going to go to PSD template. If you want to resize your PSD template, you can do that here. My recommendation is to do not resize because you can simply make your templates in the right size beforehand and then use this plugin to just resize only the images that you want inside your template, right? So let's go to export. Here you can select from different export formats. I'm using WebP because WebP is the best for web. If you're gonna use it for Instagram, for instance, you gotta select like JPEG or PNG or even TiffWorks. But for web, for SEO purposes, use WebP, it's the best one. Here you can set the quality of the image. I keep in mind in 12 because my image is pretty small already. It's like thousand by thousand pixels. And when I export this in 12 quality, the best quality, it's like 50 to 100 KB per image. And that is fine for web. Then we have the naming. I'm not changing anything here. I'm keeping these preferences as they are. And that's pretty much it. And the only thing I have to do is to start generating and it's gonna process all these images. Now, because you made it to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you one good tip to get the best possible quality and the smallest file size of these images. If you have big images, like 4,000 or 5,000 pixels or even bigger, and you're gonna use the bulk mockup generator, 
it's gonna resize your image and it's gonna export it and especially with WebP, it's gonna look a little bit pixelated. I experimented with this to get the best possible quality of my images. And what I did was I made sure that the images that I want to process are not that big. When you got images that are a bit smaller file size, let's say a thousand pixels, 2000 pixels, and not 10,000 pixels, the export quality will be a lot better because you're giving this plugin a really good image size to process and not like a huge file size. And then it's gonna process it to a smaller file size. And when it exports, it, it's gonna look a little bit pixelated. So make sure your images are not too big because that's better. And if you want to know how to batch process all your images to a smaller file size, make sure to check out this video because I made a dedicated video on that. And if you combine that video with this one, you're going to get the best mockups in your store or whatever you want to do with them. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check this video. It's really important to do that to get the best possible quality. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.